So in this problem, we need to prove the following. So what we'll do, we'll start from the left hand side. So on the left hand side, we have in the numerator, the sum of two sine functions. So we have sine A plus sine B. And in the denominator, we see that we have a difference of sine function. So we have sine A minus sine B. Now what we can do here is we can use the transformation formula. Now let's state the transformation formula that we will use here. So if we have the sum of two sine function, that simply transforms to the product of a sine and cosine. And the difference of the sine function also is transforming into a product of a cosine and a sine function. So this will be equals to, now we have in the numerator two times, so the sine will come first. We have sine of angle A plus B over 2 multiplied to cosine of the angle a minus b over 2 whole divided by now we have difference of sine so we have 2 times cosine of a plus b divided by 2 multiplied to sine of angle a minus b over 2 now immediately we can factor out 2 from the numerator and the denominator now we know that the ratio of sine over cosine that's the tangent function provided they have the same angle so sine of a plus b over 2 over cosine of a plus b over 2 that's going to become tangent of a plus b over 2 and then we have the other ratio of cosine to that of sine and both of them have the same angle so the ratio is simply the cotangent function so we're cotangent of a minus b over 2 so we see that this is the expression on the right hand side so since we have shown that the left hand side is equals to right hand side so therefore we have successfully proved it